two-hour Supermoto Enduro event fires up, all the teams are getting ready having worked out the strategies. Our master tactician Danny decides on team placings, and I got pegged number three. Funny that. Maybe I'm the weakest link. There's our man, number one, Warren. Let's hope, uh... Let's hope he comes back in again in the same position. That'll be fantastic. started to dry out, Warren showed how it should really be done. But I would question some of his tactics. Well, there you see, the number's gone out number one, so that's going to bring Warren in. Still in pole position. Mark's just getting himself ready. Quick changeover, and then he's out. Warren, you're our trump card on, uh, on my top team, making up for all my, uh, <coughs> all my mistakes. Um, you're currently British Supermoto champion. You've made a transition from motocross to Supermoto. What, yeah, that's right. why, why was that? What, what made you change? Um, well, my motocross days were more or less at an end. Um, got into Supermoto uh, on the road, um, entered my first uh, race event uh, back end of 98. And uh, I won it basically, so that got me interested. I thought, well, looks looks an interesting sport. This, and it's bigger than what I thought it was, and it went from there. What what sort of techniques have you found now? From obviously from going uh, from a shale surface or a muddy surface, should we say, to a tarmac? What sort of techniques are, you, are different? Well, a lot, everything really. Um, at first, when I first got rode my first supermoto race, I was over the back end for breaking bumps in the corner which, which aren't there on the tarmac, yeah. you know, that sort of style. So just keep your weight up over the front and uh, a lot of riders ride with the feet up, the feet out, but I find that the best way to ride is with your foot out, so, similar to motocross style. Obviously, you know, you're not uh, keeping the bike upright, you're leaning in on the corner. And you're using your leg then just as a bit of, not a leverage, but as a, a sort of... Yeah, as a, a bit of support if, if something does start to... Uh, wash away, your front end goes, back end goes, you've always got your foot to hopefully correct it. Here we go, get my kit on ready. I'm just about to put the, uh, the flag out from my mate Mark, who's uh, kept us up in uh, number one place. And um, here I go. Hopefully I can keep, you know, don't lose too many places. And um, let's have some fun. That's the whole point of it. Absolutely amazing. Our host for today is one of the few companies that manufacture supermoto bikes. I visited the factory to see how they're produced. Peter, what does CCM stand for? It stands for Clues Competition Motorcycles. It was a business set up in uh, 1971 by Alan Clues, who was a very well-known rider for BSA, riding uh, trials and enduro at the time. Well, 
Well, how do you compete with the biggies? The, the Germans, the Italians, the, you know... The Japanese. Japanese, of course, well, yeah. Mainly by not trying to compete with them. Rather than go head-to-head -head with, uh, with the big boys, we try and go to the areas of the market that we see being the future of motorcycling. Fast developing areas like trials, uh, trail riding, motocross, but nowadays uh, dual sport and supermoto, bikes for the street. So you're actually sort of creating a market then, aren't you? We are, yes. We make lightweight, uh, powerful, single-cylinder bikes for fun. Do you actually create all the components on the bike? No, we don't. We obviously design all the components, but we, we make the, the frame, uh, the subframe that goes here to hold the seat, and the uh, swinging arm, which is the whole rolling chassis. But the rest of the components, uh, we get the front and rear suspension units from Holland, the uh, carburetors from Italy, and the engine comes from Austria. Now, they really are off-road and on-road. Does it take, kind of take long to change the tyres? No, not, a, not at all. And a good majority of our customers now buy the bike with both sets of wheels, and they go to work Monday to Friday with the, uh, the road wheels on, and then 10 minutes, Saturday morning, whip those out, off-roads in, and away they go. Uh, riding off-road with their mates and it literally is a 10-minute job. It's been engineered to be a simple job. So it's, I mean, it's a real dual-purpose bike and you've got the best of both worlds. Oh my goodness. I'm completely hooked. It's incredible. I could have stayed out there all day long. Didn't want to come in. That was, uh, it was funny when I saw the number one come up, I said, ah, God, I'd love to do five more, ten more laps. Amazing, amazing sport. It's been a fantastic experience doing this. Also, it's extremely competitive. These people are really, you know, they're, they're, they're competitive, they're having a go. But amazing fun. I loved it. Well, that's the end of the day. Here's the team, the winning team. Guys, just want to say thanks very much for all the guidance, all the help you give me, and uh, for making up for my shortfalls, which has been fantastic. So thanks very much indeed. That's Supermoto. Entertaining, fun, cheap to do. Get out, get yourself out and buy a bike. <laughs>